video we are going to create a channels in our network channel artifacts and our network is also up and running so i can show you the ne our network is up and running just let me open command So currently I am in repo docker ps so it will show the all the processes yeah these are the services for our network so all the services are up and running okay so the next next part is creating the channel don't consider the other files right now so I will show you I will go through one by one each as per our requirement so next one is the create channel dot scale script this is the important file okay so what exactly this file contain so first one we are exporting all the necessary environmental variables because we are not using this command line command line interface that is the CLI separate container so we are going to invoke transaction using this terminal uh, by setting the appropriate globals variable okay so for the core peer TLS enable that is true so we have enabled our TLS orderer CA first one is the orderer CA orderer CA we have to provide the exactly path for the orderer certificate authority that is inside that crypto config folder orderer organization example.com so we have only one orderer MSP inside the MSP TLS CA certificate is there next one is the peer 0 org 1 certificate authority so exactly same as the orderer for the peer also we have to provide the exact path peer 0 org 1 dot com tls csr and for the organ peer 0 orderer organization 2 so we have to provide the same one for the creating channel For creating the channel so I already told inside the channel folder we have in config folder we have in config folder where we have defined different services this core.yaml file is required for creating the channel because we have to set the fabric config path to the core.yaml file so that the channel gets created so make sure that you have provided the exactly same path for the core.yaml file wherever it is just provide the correct path here so so we are creating the channel as a my channel set global for orderer set global for peer 0 or 1 set global for peer 1 or 1 set global for peer 0 or 2 peer 1 or 2 these are different environmental variables we have to provide here so orderer core peer local msp id so it is compulsory to provide the local msp id next one is the core peer TLS root cert file so make sure that you are providing the exactly correct path for the TLS for the TLS file for the MSP config membership service provider configuration file this is the admin admin MSP for that organ organizations So in case of peer, so local MSP would be org1 MSP for the organization one and for organization two there it would be org2 MSP. Coming to the next one, core peer TLS root cert file. So we have to provide this TLS root cert file which is already exported above here. You can check the path, correct path. So just go through these all the functions and check whether uh, how we have provided different different environmental variables so coming to the first one create channel so this is the command for creating the channel so now you can see here in the left side mm, now you can see here what exactly is doing rm minus rf slash channel artifacts so we are removing everything inside from the channel artifacts so here we have one folder channel artifacts we have nothing inside this folder right now so no need to run this command actually but anyway if it is running uh, let it be uh, if we have uh, later on if we have that file 
then it would be easy to uh, first remove that and later create that uh, channel dot blog so we are creating the channel using peer zero or one globals which is defined here core peer local msp id these are all the different variables we are providing so peer binary so i will show you what exactly peer binary does this is the peer binary where we can provide the commands and the flags so here exactly what we are doing here peer channel create order it is local host 7054 so our order is deployed on 7054 i will show you this one local host 7054 sorry 7050 this is the order and order address channel name is the my channel order tls host override order.com and we have to provide the file of channel dot transaction file where which is created during the artifacts creation it, so it would be available inside the channel this is the file my channel dot transaction file so i have to provide the path to the exactly this file so output block would be inside the channel artifacts so make sure that you have you have this folder otherwise it will show an error channel dot artifacts folder and my channel dot block would be get created and for communication communication for communicating with this we have to provide the tls certificate okay so we'll run first this command create channel these are the different functions so i'm not going to use this so i'm not going to run these commands so just first of all we'll run create channel and so i will show you so inside these channel artifacts you can see here channel, my channel dot block will get created once we create the channel okay so create channel dot ss file is available on the home directory in the repo create channel dot ss yeah so in channel artifacts you can see the my channel block so our channel got created here we have to join each peer to this channel we have total four peers so we have to do it for four times see so so join join channel function i have written here so which what it does it just join the channel for this uh, join the peer for this channel for the set global peer zero or one where peer channel join hyphen b we have to provide that block so for each peer we have to do the same so i will run that run that function again just uncommenting you know, the channel already created so no need to run this command again here and here you can see exactly successfully submitted the proposal to join channel endorser and order connection initialized successfully submitted proposal to join channel so all the peers have joined the channel four peers again once the channel is joined so we have to update the anchor pair so for uh, updating the anchor pair so command is so we have to set the globals for proper uh, peer zero or peer peer zero and org one or two peer channel update orderer same exactly command so we have to here provide anchor peer the transaction block to update it so what is purpose of updating this anchor peer so i will let you know in the next section again so we have to comment uncomment this part and comment upper one so i am running one by one command so make sure that you are also doing the same so one, uh, once we, you have run one by one and you got uh, you understood that then you can run at the same time means so i'm running the same ones to update anchor pair that is also sub completed now i'm uncommenting this part 
yeah so now our channel is created so all the peers have joined the channel i can show you docker processes these are the different services so we'll go go to the peer container docker exec peer 0 or 1 ashes so we are entering into the peer in so, so currently we are inside the container of peer 0 or 1 currently we are inside that working directory of slash opt slash go path slash src github dot com hyperledger fabric peer that's why it's nothing is nothing inside this folder nothing is there that's why it's showing cd and ls we can see here cd slash there would be a lot of folders cd minus yeah so currently we are inside the uh, working directory here what can we do peer channel list so you can see here my channel is there this peer has joined my channel so th there would be a list of mm, channels which this this peer has joined going outside so in this way you can see inside each container of the each peer all the peers have joined the channel so updated anchor pair as well now we can play with the chain code that's it for this video stay tuned for the more update